Hey everybody, on the way back from Chicago, my brother and I stopped at quite possibly the best antique mall that we've ever visited for baseball cards. They had so much stuff there that I needed a shopping cart and I ended up filling it up to the top. Let's go ahead and check out what they had. Pretty big in here. You want to, where you want to start at? Uh -huh. Mike's right off the bat. Somebody sent me that. 15 bucks. What is that? The uh, Padres All Star Game set? 10 bucks. Huh? Yeah, it's, I think it's bigger than Hockey G's for sure. Like playing this music real loud. Here we go. Mickey Mantle. Yellow letters. Yeah, but 400 bucks for non graded card is still, I don't know. Ted Williams, 57 tops. S 71 tops. 73 tops, $15 firm. Mike Hessman, that guy is like famous for having the most minor league home runs ever. I think he hit like over 400 home runs in the minors, but he never really, I don't know, never really caught on in the majors. Babe Ruth Baseball Club. Yeah, now we're barely gonna make it through here. 54 World Series, 10 bucks. Chipper Jones. Five bucks for a whole like stack of them. The reprints. No, that's Costco Fukudome. 16 bucks? No, 750. I guess that's not too bad. Brian Taylor. Four bucks? Yeah, you can't even see the Griffey price. You know, like. Griffey's $75. Wax boxes. Oh, yeah. Let's start grabbing these. Five, seven. You want any of these? Seven, seven. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a trip without some top straight in 1990. Yeah, I got it for three bucks. That's Ten that's bucks. really good. Cause the one I got had holes in the thing. I'm pretty sure that you, that I sold it. Like yeah, I sold it on eBay for like twenty five. Griffey's in there. Yeah. I think, right? Yeah, he's in there. In the pretty sure he's in there too. Sammy Sim, Sims in there too. Yeah, I know. Probably a long time. Could have used this shopping cart at the National. Stupid pool cart that I had. All the stuff like want to fall off all the time. Yeah, he's gonna be real stoked. <laughs> 90 clear. Now I'm gonna pass on that. Is that all the baseball wax there is? Where's the bonds? He's got a bunch of baseball right here too. So. I know. And there's like a bunch of cards from like 67, 50, 54. Uncut sheet of 78. For 12 bucks. That's pretty sick. I know, we'd like to need a lot more time than just like 
45 minutes to get through this place. These uncut sheets are pretty cool. I wonder if there's like a molder or two Tony Perez's. Jack Morris, Eddie Murray would be nice, but I'm sure somebody bought those. Blue Brock, Tom Seaver, that's not a bad one. Pete Rose. Somebody. Team sets of 89 Fleer. 78 Tops baseball set 200. 79 Tops 150. Off center card there of Ozzy Smith. There's cards everywhere. This is awesome. Play McCovey rookie for 75. There must be like no card stores around here, so everyone just puts their stuff in here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of sets. Vending boxes. 2018 Tops opening day for five bucks. This is probably like one of the best antique malls, but we like never came here because it was too far. I remember those. Fun ball. I used to hate those because they wouldn't curve. Yeah, I hate those like they didn't have a. It's like a I don't know. Some golf cards. I picked those up for Tim Shea. Two bucks for a box. They're sealed. Yeah. Two bucks for a box of unopened golf cards. I'm sure they're not worth anything, but. More booths in the back. This place is gigantic. This must have been like the stock room for Ames. Like behind the scenes. Probably like employee break room back here and stuff. Hey, good thing you said yes to getting Taco Bell. I like wouldn't have like got off at this exit and like seen this place. Big Harrison Ford poster. That's probably like the manager's office or something. It's real hot back here. I know, it is real hot back here. Cars. Oh yeah? Nice great drivers. Eighty nine tops. Like why is that there? There's like eighty nine tops and sleeves. Three twenty five This, card this person sleeve. obviously doesn't know much about cards. It's like a headliner right there. What is this? How many plaques of Hugh Brooks? <laughs> Homemade plaque. That's the most generic thing I've ever seen. It's, it's glued down, Rob too. Rob Dibble? They're glued on there. Gary Reese has one. Why'd they pick these guys? I know. <laughs> they couldn't pick a Tom Prince. <laughs> you should buy that for Joe. <laughs> Somebody sent me that card autographed. I'm buying that for Joe. Somebody sent me that autographed. There's a Tom. There's more of them, too. Yeah, look, look. Tom Prince. Oh, I hope there's a Bob Walk. Oh, sick. <laughs> Andy Van Slyke. Yeah. This one's two bucks. It's glued down. There's not even any, like, thing on the back to, like, hang it up with. Yeah, what's the point of that? I'll, I'll buy it just to be... You buy that Van Slyke one? Yeah. How much is that? Is that two bucks? They're all two bucks. I thought the other one's, like, three something. The other one's, like, three twenty-five. <laughs> Tom Prince. I wonder how much that is. Should be like three bucks. Oh, 72 tops. Eight bucks. How much is that? Three. There's a rookie card on there. No one I've ever heard of. Jim Barr. Best guy on there is probably Vita Blue, Joe Pepitone. 91 Ultra. Got like all these plates in the way. I can't like get over there. Sean Allred, rookie, 50 cents. What are these grab bags? 50 cents? This is all altar cards. 
This is all like from junk wax crap. Yeah. These are all Beckett prices. Yeah, I'm actually gonna buy this. Why? Because it's all archives cards. Those are actually kind of cool. For 50 cents. I don't know what I'm gonna do this. There's some more. Why is that two dollars? I don't know. Yeah, like. I heard Julian always say that was his uncle. Yeah, he did always say that. I don't believe that. Kinda. I don't know how true that was. What's this? Hockey cards. Here's more plaques. Like Juan Gonzalez. Yeah. <laughs> Piece of wood. And Bayerga. Four bucks. Not bad. Four bucks for a bobblehead. Whoa, look at these. Wow, those are sick. Whoa. I haven't seen those. Are they folders? No, they're like giant displays for Holy five crap. bucks. Must be for like card stores. Lee Smith. Those are sick. I, I know. I've seen those before. Jay Bell. Dennis Eckersley. Clemens. Whoa. That's, that's pretty crazy. I'm going to have to buy the Clemens. Ken Herbeck. You want one? These things are awesome. I don't know if I want any of those players or not. Lee Smith, Ford. Hall of Famer. Yeah, I thought about Lee Smith. Those are pretty cool. Maybe it was a different set and I could go on What What is this exactly? I have no idea. Like, it doesn't look like there's anything like printed on the back. Proof poster? Like, that's pretty sick. I know. I know. There's some baseball stuff. Jim Leland. Sparky Anderson. Ten bucks. Twenty bucks. It's a bunch of NES games. I know. Paperboy, 15. Yeah, that's a good deal. Rampage for 15. I used to love Rampage. We'd always like rent that. They came out with a Rampage. Uh, Get like all mad at each other when we accidentally punch each other. Oh, here we go. There's more. Each. Tops mini liters packs for two bucks. Eighty-seven tops mini liters. Eighty-seven tops mini liters, two bucks each. Don't want to go through that box in the showcase of all those cards, the singles. I know. We're like halfway done. Whoa, here we go. Bunch of autographed baseballs. It's locked. There's a whole bunch of like Mickey Mantle cards here and everything. Of course, they're all reprints with like fake autos on them. Reggie Jackson, rookie, 85. McGuire for 19. Plus the starting lineups in here too. Bye Bonilla for four. Some sets. Oh nice. Ninety two tops traded. Twelve bucks. Nineteen bucks for that? A bunch more starting lineups over here. Hall of Fame Bobblehead thirty nine.
Jose Canseco plate for 25. Tops big for 12. Tops traded sets. What's this? Look at this. Yeah, I know. How much are the big cards? Like 12 bucks. Team collection? This is sick. Boston Red Sox? Oh, nice. Up on these. This is pretty awesome. Oh God, Miggy Cabrera, thirty-five bucks. Get out of here. Autograph Whitey Ford, twenty bucks. If it's real. What's this? Giant baseball bat, $75. Make like a video using this. We got seven minutes. It's not. Eight minutes. I don't lights off for Still six minutes left. What's that? I know it's turn the lights out at seven fifty four. Like what happens if I were like I know, I'm not even going to get a chance to get through that whole box of singles. Hey everybody, we're back from that indoor flea market slash antique mall and found a lot of cool stuff there. Uh, of course, we were a little bit crunched for time. You saw the Roger Clemens... Um, giant poster there which I assume is from um, a card store and there's a bunch of those I probably should have bought all of them and then this bad boy this is a bobblehead of Carlos Baerga usually we'll pick up bobbleheads when I see them for about five dollars or so then we have all this other stuff in here uh, I have these golf cards which they're sealed and only two dollars for a sealed wax box that's Pretty much as low as it gets. It doesn't really matter if it's golf or not. If I see a box for $2, I could do something with this. I'll probably send it off to uh, one of my subscribers who is really, really into golf. And I also picked up these plaques. Um, they're like homemade. Looks like somebody just took a piece of wood and they literally glued an 89 Tops card to these. So I got a Tom Prince as a gag gift for a friend. And then, of course, this is one of my favorite cards of all time, the 89 Andy Van Slyke card. This was the card that got me addicted to collecting cards in the first place when I pulled this out of a pack, so I had to buy that. Those were $2 each. And then they had uncut sheets of 1978 tops, which is pretty awesome. So I found this one. It had two Pete Roses on there, so I picked that one up for a Pete Rose collector. Also, I picked up this little grab bag here. Uh, I forget what I paid for this. It might have been 50 cents, but it's pretty cool because it's 1953 Tops reprints, which, um, you know, they're pretty awesome. Obviously, they're not real, but still pretty cool to have. And then I also picked up all of these wax boxes for varying prices, usually around five bucks, five to seven dollars. We got uh, 92 Leaf, 91 Fleer, 92 Tops, 92 Donruss, maybe you find an Elite in there. 91 Leaf is right here, then we have another 91 Leaf, that's Series 1 and Series 2. 89 Tops, 
92 tops again, another 92 leaf, another 92 tops, and another 92 uh, Don Russell Elite. So overall, I was pretty happy because we weren't even planning on making this stop. We just stopped for Taco Bell, and lo and behold, driving past, there was a giant antique mall. Uh, the only thing that I regret is that we didn't have enough time. There was a really nice filled uh, box with older cars that I would have loved to have gone through, but maybe next time when we are in the Toledo area. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Hit that thumbs up and leave a comment if you like, and I will see you all tomorrow.